I always would like to meet with him when I'm in Rome, but this time I have a special reason uh, to meet with him because I want to uh, ask him uh, to support uh, right to food of the uh, FAO, from the FAO side, how we can work together to make much more stronger commitment to the right to food section of FAO and the right to food section in general. And uh, being together, working with the Geneva and Rome, cooperating for uh, the betterment and the uh, enlargement and enhancement of the right to food. That's when I met him. Why it is so important? Uh, because we don't uh, take seriously right to foot as um, especially we maybe we don't do the, our job to explaining how important right to foot to the governments. Uh, there is a big way, a positive uh, way that many of the governments right now are understanding and they change their constitution, they make a framework laws about the right to food to protect especially vulnerable people, uh, but still we have to uh, explain more and the right to food is important for the policy, policy coherence of the food systems and the food security. Uh, protecting people is good for the governments because they also have to see whether or not their policy is working well. That's why uh, we, this is a kind of mechanism that uh, making policies much more effective and also monitoring policies that is very important for the government because they spend a lot of uh, budget items for uh, many food policies. But to understand uh, what is happening for the government, uh, for the people, it's a very important to make it uh, such a connection, uh, implementation, enforcement, and the policy decisions at the same time. We also uh, talked a little bit about a uh, current emergency situation, uh, which as you know, 450 million people right now under the conflict situation and uh, natural disasters and the war basically comes together and bring sort of kind of like the vicious cycle and this uh, real vulnerable people that right now we are having, which is uh, hunger is increasing because of this reason, what, how we can work together uh, for the emergency situation uh, besides the uh, regular hunger and malnutrition elimination, but we have right now emergency problems in uh, most part of the world, basically Sub-Saharan Africa. And we talk about it and how we can work together, what we can do, what will be the concrete results of these policies if we work together. That's why we discussed.